So, I'm seeing on YouTube lately a lot of these college is a scam videos. Everybody's talking about how they're hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and they can't get jobs or they're hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and they're working at McDonald's or whatever the case may be. So, I felt maybe it was time for me to get one of my own up here. Just a little bit about my background. I graduated from college in June of 2013. I have zero debt coming out of college, so this isn't going to be one of your typical videos. I'm not going to complain that I have all these loans to pay and whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's not the purpose of this video. The truth of the matter is, is I did find a job within about eight months, which isn't too bad. But the point here is to say that despite all of that, I still would not have went to college if I could do it all over again. Still believe that it was the biggest waste of my time because I found out that I didn't learn a fucking thing. I didn't learn anything practical because when I got to work and I was kind of in and out of a couple of different jobs, I've actually already had three different jobs by the time I graduated about a year ago that nothing I was doing at work was relevant to what I studied. I mean, maybe in theory it was, but I didn't know how to do any of the hands-on work. I was totally lost, and if it wasn't for people that were literally holding my hand and training me, I feel like I would have been fired after three weeks. So my question here is, why did I sit in a school for four and a half years and learn nothing basically. And here's where I think it's a scam. First of all, the first two years or more, you'll be taking classes that have zero relevance to what you want to do. I majored personally, I majored in accounting. My first two years of college, I'm learning about fucking Greek gods and urban philosophy and 15 fucking English classes and, and art and this and that. Just a total waste of my fucking time. Like, you know, I don't need these classes. I don't want to take these classes. I'm not taking these classes. Like, and, and, and really, education is the only business that would get away with that. I mean, let me ask you a question. You know, say you go into a, a pizzeria and you want a chicken roll. What would you do if the guy at the counter said to you, okay, you can have the chicken roll, but before that, you need to buy 15 pizza pies, 12 garlic knots, 12 sodas, and 6 meatball palm heroes, and then you can have what you want. But for now, you have to buy all this stuff. Would you stay there and say, sure, no problem, let me go see if I can get a loan across the street to pay for this, because I can't afford that. You wouldn't do it. You would say, get the fuck out of here, I'm going to the Chinese place for some general chow. You know, you wouldn't put up with that nonsense. The only business in the world that gets away with making you pay for things that you don't need, that isn't relevant to why you're there, but people just keep doing it, and they keep paying it like it's no problem. So finally, now when I first went to college, I didn't know what I wanted to major in. I was very unsure of what I wanted to do. I thought maybe I was going to go to law school, maybe I was going to try this and that. So I didn't really know. So I declared my major, actually, in my junior year, first semester, which means that the first two years, I did nothing whatsoever towards a career, which is partially mostly my fault, but at the same token, they're making me take all these bullshit core classes and nonsense that, you know, before I knew it, I was a junior. So I finally get into my major. So now I figure, okay, I'm starting my major, I'm in accounting, this should be okay. Accounting is a pretty good major. I'll be all right. So I take the first semester of classes, and I'm looking and I'm realizing that it's going to take me an extra semester to graduate because we have all these prerequisite classes that I have to take, which is another thing. Now, I thought it, it makes sense, you know, accounting one, and then there's accounting two and three and so on. It makes sense because you must need these classes in order to understand the next one. So I figure it's all good. But then I get to the next class, and I realize that this doesn't have anything to do with the class that I just took. I could have taken these classes together. The only reason why they have prerequisites is so you spend another semester there. Or you can take it in the intercession 
which is what all those fuck faces in Registrar recommend. Oh, you know, you can save yourself some time by taking it in the fucking intercession. But what they don't tell you about the fucking intercession is your fucking financial aid won't cover it. So you gotta pay for it out of pocket. So obviously nobody wants to do that. So we'll do another semester. It's fine. I'll just pay for another semester. So I'm sitting in these classes and it's like you know, this has no relevance to the class that I just took. So that's so, so that's a summary. So, so far, here's what we have so far. We spent two years taking classes totally irrelevant. I was learning about how giraffes fuck zebras and the philosophy of music. So that's two years of a complete waste. Now I'm in my major, and they're still wasting my fucking time with these prerequisite classes and this bullshit. And then I get into classes, so finally I look past all that. It's all good. Only $30,000 later, but it's all good. So I go, and I'm sitting in some of these classes, and I'm realizing I'm learning the same fucking thing that I just learned last semester. Like, literally, I feel like I'm taking the same exam. Like, this midterm, I just took this test last semester. They just added a little more detail to it. Like, they'll add one more formula. Like, you couldn't just teach me that last semester. I have to come and retake the whole fucking class just to learn two new things. Just, again, just totally wasting your time, totally dragging out your education, you know. It's like, it's a place where I spent four and a half years getting a year and a half's worth of education. That That's the way I look at it. There's, there's just no reason for it to be so fucking long. Like, honestly, college would be so much better if it was two years. Because there's no reason to take two years of complete shit with these fucking classes. But then they say, well, you know, you got to be well-rounded. We want to make you well-rounded. Yeah, make my cock well-rounded. That's what I have to say about that. You know, well-rounded. First of all, you were in school for 12 years before college. You know, you had grades K through 12. That wasn't enough time to become well-rounded. How long does it take to become well-rounded? Like that 12 years wasn't enough? And second of all, if you want me... Actually, I got into an argument with Registrar one time because I, when I was a freshman, I was a pretty fresh motherfucker. I fought half this shit. Like, when they first told me you have to take these classes, I said to them, like, why? Why do I have to take these classes? Well, this is required learning. I says, what do you mean required learning? Like, I came here for a reason, and this isn't it. What do you mean required learning? Like, well, when you go to a grocery store, do they require you to buy... You know, you can't buy apples without buying Windex. I mean, I don't understand. What the fuck does that mean, required learning? It says, no, because we want you to be well-rounded so you can sound more intelligent. That makes a lot of sense. So my argument at that point was, if you want me to have this so badly, then it should be free. I mean, I don't want it. I don't need it. But you want me to take it anyway. So you should pay for it, not me. You know, if I could do it all over again, I seriously would go about my whole life a different way. So then finally, let's look past all the bullshit. So I wasted four and a half years. I took maybe a year and a half's worth of valuable classes. I get into a job and realize that nothing I'm doing at this job pertains to what I learned. It didn't teach me anything practical. I have to learn. Even, you know, to this day... I still go on YouTube to watch videos, like to learn how to use Excel and, and, you know, QuickBooks and like other software that I have to work with because it wasn't taught in school. Like I learned how to use a pivot table from YouTube. Anybody that works in business or finance and everything knows how important Excel is and they just didn't teach it. Like, you know, the, the, one of my professors said there just isn't enough time to cover everything. Well, what about taking about the what about the three years of Jamaican butt fucking classes I took? How come you you find time for that, but you don't find time to teach like the most practical thing that there is? What a bunch of shit! The fuck. So anyway, so let's fast forward. So I'm out. I graduate. I learn nothing, but I'm out. Then you got to face the job market. Now everybody told me when I was in school. You know, accounting is such a great field. You know, it's recession-proof. That's their favorite two words, recession-proof. 
you know, it's recession proof. You can always find work. It's always there. Like a, a fucking prostitute bent over. It's just right there for you to grab. Okay. So you go for job interviews and you have a bunch of entry level jobs. Only problem is, is that you need like 20 years of experience to get these jobs. Every other job must have three to five years of experience, must have blah, 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 a whole fucking 10 pages of requirements. I read these job descriptions and it's like, number one, I didn't learn any of this stuff in school. Number two, I don't have all this experience and honestly, how, how should I? Like, I've only been doing this for two years. I've been studying this for two years. How would I have all this experience? So I went around months and months and months and months looking for a job. It took me about eight, nine months to get my first job. And I'm going on these interviews. I clearly don't have any of these qualifications. I'm sitting there on these interviews. I feel insecure because, honestly, I don't know what the fuck these people are talking about. Like, I'm thinking back to school, how I sat there... And I took all my exams with this little A, B, C, or D shit with the fucking Scantron and all this nonsense. When you go on jobs, they want they want to see that you can do the hands-on work. Like, and there was nothing hands-on in college. Like, there's nothing practical taught. So, ultimately, I feel I spent half my time taking bullshit classes. I didn't learn anything practical. The one thing that I'm blessed for is I don't have debt. Because if I would have had debt... That would have just pushed me way over the top. I would have been really pissed off because it's like you're paying for something that's completely useless. Like, honestly, if I could do it all over again, I'm not even sure if I would have finished high school. I think I would have left high school when I was 16 and went right into a trade. I would have been done by the time I was 18. Would have been working already for those five years and sitting there reading some stupid shit about how Socrates jerks off to Plato. You know, and writing a 15-page paper about that. It's just complete nonsense. It's a complete waste of time. If there's any high school kids out there watching this, I'm not telling you not to go to college. I'm just telling you make sure you're going for the right reason. Don't go because your mommy and daddy tell you you have to go or your teachers tell you you have to go. You need to do it because it's going to accomplish your goals, what you want to do with your life. If you don't need it to accomplish your goals then you don't need to be there. And if you don't know what your goals are yet, you also don't need to be there. You can go later. That's another thing. You don't need to go at 18. You don't have to go right from high school. These universities are not going anywhere. They're getting bigger and bigger and more and more rich. They're not going to go anywhere. You could take a year off after high school. You want to think about what you want to do. Get yourself a job for a while and analyze exactly what you want. There's no need. Like, my parents threw me into college, literally. Like, they grabbed me by the throat and threw me in. And I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do, and I didn't know why I was there. I was changing my major like crazy. I was running around, taking all these bullshit classes. If you're not sure what you want yet, then take the time until you know. And don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid to go to your mother and say, you know, listen, I'm not 100% sure of what I want to do yet. I'm going to take some time off to evaluate. Then they're probably going to say, well, well, you'll figure it out while you're there. You'll find yourself. Let me tell you something. You're not going to find anything there because you're going to spend two years taking complete bullshit. It's not going to help you. Like, you can't find yourself when you're being overwhelmed with classes that don't pertain to anything. You know, at least if I could have taken more electives when I was a freshman instead of required classes... I could have explored different areas, but you're not going to get that. You're going to be thrown into, these, into this bullshit. As a freshman, you're like the last one to register for classes, so you, you're, you're basically stuck with whatever's not filled, which means you're going to have, well, that's another thing you get to look forward to. You're taking three classes, but you're going to be going four days a week. One class is going to be from 9 to 11. Your next class is going to be at 4.30 in the afternoon because nothing is open anymore. Everything is closed. So you get all these fucking gaps in between your classes. You can't do a fucking thing. You can't get a part-time job. Especially with science classes, they love that shit because you're going to fucking take labs that are once a week. You know, the lab is for like four hours once a week. So that fucks up their whole rest of your schedule. You know, you're not going to really get a chance to be exposed to much. So if you're not certain as to why you're there, you're not going to find yourself there. I mean, just everything. Fucking textbooks, you know. 
a fucking textbook. I remember I would buy books that were like 15 pages long, like this fucking thin. 15 pages, they charge you like $8,000. And and then don't think you're selling that back. No, 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 because it's not fine wine you're dealing with. As soon as that class ends, all of a sudden the book has no value because it's going to be a new edition. Let me tell you something about the new edition. It's the same fucking book with a different label. There's no fucking difference. You see what I mean? Think for yourself. Do you want to spend the next four, five, six years of your life sitting in a classroom, repeating the same shit over and over, learning nothing practical, getting no practical experience, or would you rather go into something a little more practical, like a trade, that'll take you a year or two, you get working right away, you're making money, like, you know how many of my friends I know, they have, like, degrees in political science. Like, my friend has a degree in philosophy. 26, 27 years old, still living with their mother. You know, fucking, you know, makes, like, $20,000 a year at Starbucks. I know people that dropped out of high school, that have no high school diploma, that have jobs in construction making 60, 70 grand a year. You know, think about it. That's all I'm saying. Thank you.